Welcome to Rational Man. This is a special presentation called Painting for Dipshits. Now, you may ask, why dipshits? Well, I like it because it's not pretentious. Also, for dummies was taken, as of course was the idiot's guide. And I expect Mr. T has a lock on the word fool by now. So, I guess the other question would be, why painting? Well, the nice thing about art in general is that it is mercifully free from the tyranny of the competent. So, as they say, you can't judge art, which is why there's no such thing as an art show, I guess. Um, let's get started. What do you need to create a painting? A canvas is a good start. Not necessary, but a good start. As you see, this one's covered with a substance we call saran wrap. Uh, that's how they come from the store. I don't know why. You can remove it if you like. Secondly, what you'll want is a good supply of paint brushes. You probably want at least 20 or 30 of these because, as you know, dipshits don't like to rinse their brushes. So it's going to take you quite a few of those. And of course, paint. What kind of paint, may you ask? might you ask? Well, as one famous dipshit artist put it, when I run out of green, I use red. So, I suggest green and red, a good supply of both. Now, what kind of paint, specifically? I recommend acrylic. Why? Well, because, um, well, let's put it this way, it dries fast, and, you know, Everyone knows that, that great art uh, shouldn't take a long time. Also, uh, lesser paints are often made with such things as eggs and milk and flour. I mean, you know, you hear about all these starving artists, but no one asks why. Well, I think it's because they're painting with their food. Anyway, um, oils, again, take a long time. Acrylic is a nice synthetic substance that dries fast and lasts a good long time. So we'll go ahead and use acrylic because I said so. And if you weren't such a dipshit, I'd let you pick the kind of paint. Also, watercolors, you might ask, aren't watercolors good? Well, yes and no. Um, they're, they're tricky, you know. So I think it's best we stick with the acrylics. Um, a nice, easy cleanup at the end of the day. Finger paints? Yes, I think finger paints would be good, especially if you're doing nudes. Um, but that's a whole other story. Uh, since I'm not a dipshit, I'm going to be using a paintbrush. Now, a subject. A lot of people say, what should I paint? Well, if you don't know that, maybe you shouldn't even be painting. But most people, uh, a lot of people, like to do still life, which is essentially a bowl of fruit, usually. Now, we're not going to paint a whole bowl of fruit because it's too difficult. What we're going to do is start off easy. First thing we're going to do is squeeze out a certain amount of paint. That should be enough. Important part. If you forget this part, you're not going to really be painting. Take your paintbrush and put it in the paint. Get some paint on there. Okay? Great. There you go. You put it on pretty much, pretty thick. There you go. That's how you paint a still life. Yeah, you used to have a little red apple, now you have a green apple. That's how you make them. Okay, I was just really kidding about painting the fruit. That's not how still life is done. Main thing to do is make sure you get the paint on the canvas. This is called stroking. And artists are really good at that. They get a lot of stroking done in a painting. There's probably a t-shirt or something to that effect. Maybe a bumper sticker. Okay. A basic stroke is you take the paint, again, put a gob of it on there, and then you smear it on the canvas like that, okay? Yeah, just like that. There you go. Now, there's more to it than just going like that. Sometimes you can go like this, too. Oh, hell, sometimes you can go like that, you know? I mean, it's pretty wide open here. You know, as, as an artist, it's kind of up to you. That's the fun part about art. It's really kind of up to you. Let's... Okay, great. All right. 
Now that you've mastered the basics of what they call painting, I'm going to introduce you to a new kind of painting called plain air. Now, for those of you who hadn't heard, plain air just means outside. Here in the great outdoors, I think you can be uh, fairly assured of finding some form of inspiration. Now, I've come here to the sanctuary in hopes of catching some nudes out sunning themselves, which they quite often do at this time of day. Let's have a look around. Here's my little wascal. Well, they're not wearing any clothes. What do you want for nothing? Of course, there's no rule that says you have to do it all, plain air. Quite the contrary. I think it's more reasonable to go out and get your initial inspiration. And then come back inside where it's cool and comfortable and you have things to eat and drink. And flesh it out. Now, to recap, we went out there and we, well, first we prepared our canvas. Then we went out and located our nude, bunny in this case, took the basic details and the surroundings, came back in here and fleshed it out according to the best of our memory and of course my particular artistic bent. And so for those of you who have been following along, you can pretty much assume you know about what this is going to look like. Happy April Fool's Day from Rational Man.